Honey, you still aren't getting it right. Hold on, I got it. I think, shit, no, I got this completely wrong. Oh, I think Tundra's home. See the kiddo, would you? I'm gonna try to get the hang of this salmon. Bambino, you took all night. How far did you go? Sorry, Mom. I lured into a trap. A trap? Are you okay? Ah, oh, no one has ever managed to get a jump on me. But, uh, I found something. You have to promise not to freak out. Why is your back turned? Because I found a robot. What the hell? Why did you get ambushed by a robot? Trust me, it wasn't my plan for the night. <coughs> I think you may have been that scientist doing. Scientist? What scientist? Czar and I gave a scientist our DNA samples for 32,000 yen each. What? A stranger? Why would you do that? I was curious if the papers were legit. Baby, just because they're legit doesn't mean they're safe. Wait, wait. What does this have to do with that scientist? This robot looks an awful lot like your friend Natsuki. He says on the back of his neck that it's property of Dr. Triage. A little while after we gave him the DNA, he called Natsuki and she told me about a strange man who matched the description of the man we encountered. Which seems odd that he would go all the way from Japan to Alaska just for a couple DNA samples. But we never gave him any personal information, so I didn't really give a shit. Don't swear around me. But as long as you didn't give any personal information, I guess it isn't too bad. Just unalive him whenever you get the chance, please. I don't want his robot impersonators tarnishing our reputation. Love you! Yeah, yet now it really is a severed metal head of my friend. I wish it had a mouth. Just realized how disgusting that sounds. Crush you and toss you in the trash. <laughs>